Change you can bank on. I understand why a lot of you are turned off and don't want to go to church. I understand it completely. Believe you me, I, 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 I can so sympathize with you. And it's not funny a bit. It ain't funny. I understand where you're at. Believe you me. I understand. Listen to Owen time. I understand where you're coming from and where you're at in your life. Listen. I'm not going to call any names, but there was somebody I thought a lot of when I lived where I used to live and you know, stuff got just got too tough on him. And he took his own life. Don't do it. Whatever's going on in your life, the change you can bank on is this. Whatever's going on, call on Jesus. Whatever's going on, don't tote it alone. Even our own Savior prayed in the garden, Father, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will but yours. Don't tote these burdens alone. Look, we've all lost jobs. I hadn't hit a lick since September, man. If you're, if you're listening to this tonight and you've lost your job or on the verge of losing it, whatever, even if you're going to lose your house, it, do not take your life. Cry out to Jesus. Call upon Him. Find you somebody, and I know they're fear and far between, Find you somebody you can talk to and get it off of your chest. Don't tote it, man. Don't tote it. I am pleading with you, do not tote it. Because it'll eat you up inside. Get it off of your chest. Listen, I could go right now. I've been studying in the book of Job. Man, I've been studying. I'm telling you what. Job, the Bible says Job was a man that feared God and shunned evil. He was righteous. He was a whole lot more righteous than any preacher you can call on. He was a whole lot more righteous than any time watchman than any preacher you can ever point your finger at or think about watching on TV. Job was a righteous man. He was allowed to be tested by Satan. He was allowed. In other words, the devil can't just come and have carte blanche if you fear God and you shun evil. But there was a time when the sons of God came before the Lord. Satan also came and asked, could he tempt Job? God allowed it to show a bigger picture. Man, I didn't know I was going here. God allowed it to show a bigger, bigger picture. And what happened is Job's family and his daughters and his livestock, all of it, destroyed and took from him. Job sat in sackcloth and ashes. Book of Job in the Bible. Read it, man. I challenge you to read it. If you don't even know God, turn to the book of Job and read what happened. Yet, even Job's wife wanted him to curse God and he wouldn't do it. Even his friends railed against him and said, What kind of sinning you be doing? What you doing, man? What you doing so wrong that God has done this to you? No. If you go read the Word of God, God allowed Job to be tested. God didn't do it to him. See? It kind of reminds me of some of these people that think everything is, is God doing it. No, God allows stuff. It's kind of like the, the Presbyterian preacher. He was going down a flight of stairs in a building because the elevator quit working. And he fell down three flights, got up, and his leg was broke, and arm broke, and his eye was black. Thank God that's over. Like God did that to him. No, he, was, he tripped and fell on his own stupidity. You can't blame it all on God. But back to this. Job was a righteous man, but even his closest friends was nailing him to the cross, if I can use that term, and crucifying him. You must have did this. You must have did that. You must have did this. No. Job was righteous in the eyes of God. God tested him and allowed him to be put through the test because God already knew that Job would not, would not falter as long as he kept his eyes on God. I'm asking you tonight... The days that we've got coming ahead of us in the months, they're going to test you. See, America, even me, in times past, was so reliant on an economy 
that was always going to be good. Yeah, years ago, I thought it'd never end. But then God showed me three years ago in a dream and a vision, it's time to get out of debt. It's time to get ready for what's coming. And I tried to warn people in Georgia. I tried to preach it at the King of Kings Church. Of course, they think the King of Kings Church is a cult, but it ain't. More miracles done there than they have been around any churches I know of around in South Georgia. That's okay, though. Let them think the King of Kings Church is a cult. It ain't. But God showed me that trouble was coming. And I'm telling you tonight that trouble is here. Trouble is here, my friend. Listen to me. Listen to End Time Watchmen. The economy will not and shall not recover. You can listen to all the stock market predictors all you want to. You can listen to all of them saying it's a bottom buy stock, buy stock. I was screaming it when it was 10,000, 11,000. Get out, get out, get out to the people I could get it to. Well, some of them finally got out when it reached 9,500. It better go on down. What you talk? Yeah, yeah. It went to 79, 78. I've already told you it's going to 5,000. 5,000. Well, what predictions you got? No, I don't have predictions. I have the voice of God that I hear, which is something a little different than a lot of folks hear. I'm not hearing a familiar spirit. But back to the matter at hand. God said, get out of debt. I'm going to put you away to get out of debt. Get out of debt now. So we begin to chip away at it. I'm telling you now, there is a small, look at my fingers, a small window right now. If you still have a job, get out of it now. Get out of the system. Get out of it. Don't put your money in the stock market. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's a satanic scheme. It's run by Satan, not run by God. Get out of it now. Some of you won't like this, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. I've been screaming this. Get out of the banks now. Get out of them. Now. If you have money in it, get out of it now. Well, in time, this ain't, something ain't right. What you're telling me? You're telling me not to have a checking account? And you bet your rear end I'm telling you not to have one. I'm telling you, you've been forewarned again. Get out while there's time. If you could talk to everyday people that lost their retirement when it went from 14000 almost to now where it's at now, they lost it. They, they kept saying, I'm going to stay in for the long run. All their retirement was stole from them. They'll never see it back again. It didn't disappear into thin air. Somebody's got it. Somebody's got it. Pull your money out of the bank now. There was a commercial, GMAC Bank, they must have got their TARP funds. They must have got the friggin' taxpayer money, okay, that they think my grandkids and my kids are going to pay. We're not going to pay it. Go to hell. We're not paying the crap. We're not going to pay it back for some banker to live a high life. We're not going to do it for some stockbroker to live the high life with his yacht now. No! I'm not paying Bank of America to buy some other bank and then go down to nothing. I'm not going to do it. And if you got any sense, you won't do it. You'll take a stand right now and say... Change you can bank on is this. This is the change. I ain't paying it for you. But anyway. GMAC's on the commercial tonight offering 3% return on your money in the savings account. Okay? Well, guess what? Look at the banks. 10 to 1 leverage. They take your money. If you put 100000 in, guess what they loan? 10 to 1. Do the ratio. So they make that money 10 to 1 on what you put in, and you get a measly 3% if they don't fail? How stupid can anybody be to put that in there now? How stupid can you be? There's no way that you can get your return back if it fails. But they're making 10 to 1 on your money because you're stupid enough to keep putting it in there. That's a heck of a note, ain't it? Yeah, they got fractional loan, fractional lending. They have to have a fraction in the bank to loan a whole heck of a lot more. But if you put all your money in the bank, you get a 3% return. 4% on a good day. But they're loaning your money out and they're making money. I'm doing another one. Don't leave me.
stay with me.